Good morning, everybody. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Yay! We're live again with Storytime Tracy. Storytime Tracy, that's me. I'm going live on Instagram. Hi, Instagrammers. And I also have Storytime Tracy live on Facebook. So all you need to do is check out Storytime Tracy with a C E Y on Facebook if you want to switch to that format. You can put it on your computer. Welcome, everybody. Who is joining us? Put your kids' names in the comments so I can say hello to them. Okay, let's see who, who's joining us today. Who is it? Who's with us? Huh? Who's joining us? Hmm? Put your kids' names and let's see who's with us today because we have some special stuff for today. So good morning. Put your kids' names in the comments. And I'm on Facebook and Instagram. So um, maybe at the end we can go live with um, some friends if you want to come in and request to be on. But since we're on Facebook, they can't see you jump in. And um, we want to make sure everybody can see everything. So at the end, I can take some Instagram. Um, if you're watching on Instagram, I can have your kids come in and say hello okay does that sound fun huh? huh good morning parker good morning emmy robbie you're watching what kieran you're here oh my gosh i can't believe it uh-oh no sound uh-oh let's let's end instagram and we'll start it again can you hear me All right, we're gonna try this again. Are you guys, can you hear me? Good morning. Okay, oh, I know, I know what it is. Okay, are you guys ready for to get on my train? Hmm, hmm? Do you have your tickets? Do you have your tickets? Huh? Do you have your tickets? Can you hear me? Huh? If you have your tickets, if you don't have your tickets, you need to look for them. Okay, reach in your pockets for tickets. Can you hear me on Instagram? Can everybody hear me? Do you have sound now? Yay? Huh? Answer me. Okay, so um, Ella, Jackson, and Dominic are here. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Now, you guys need to go on my train. So reach in your pocket. Find your tickets. Do you have them? Do you have them? No? Okay, reach, look under your couch. Do you have them under your couch? Are they under any chairs? Find your tickets. And when you get your ticket, throw it up to me and I'll catch it, okay? Throw them. Come on, Robbie. Come on, Kieran. Throw them up to me. Oh, 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 okay, okay. All right. Oh, you guys, I, I'm catching. You guys have a lot of tickets. Where did you get all those tickets, Dominic? Where'd you get those? Okay, now we need to buckle up. If you're going to come on my train, you got to buckle up. Buckle your bellies. Buckle your elbows in. <gasps> Buckle your, do you have any loose teeth? Do you? You do? Oh, can I pull them out? No? Oh, okay. Buckle your loose teeth in so you don't lose them on my train. Buckle your, buckle your boogies in. You got any boogies in that nose? I don't want any boogies flying around on my train, okay? Buckle them in. Buckle your eyelashes in and buckle your hair in, okay? Buckle it in. Are you ready? Are you ready for the train ride? Okay. Here we go. Do you listen? Listen to that. That's the train whistle. That means the train's about to leave the station and head to Storyland. And you're coming with me. Now hold on tight because... Do you see my little train? You see it right there? This train is very, this train ride is very cornery. Remember what that means? I made it up. Yes, I made that word up. Yes, you can make words up. If you want to make a word up, make a word up. You can do it. Yeah. So that means there's a lot of corners, okay? Cornery means there's a lot of corners. All right, so hold on tight because this train ride is very cornery. Uh oh, here comes a corner. Whoa! I'm back. Don't worry. 
I didn't fall off the corner. <laughs> Here comes a big hill. Ooh, the train is going up a big hill. Put your hands up, just like on a roller coaster. Have you been on one before? <gasps> up, Cooper, Quinny, have you been on one? Put your hands up and we're gonna lean back like this. Uh, and now we're gonna lean forward. Ah! Uh oh, here comes another corner. Whoa! Whoa! Look at this. We're coming into Storyland Station. Our train is upside down. Uh-oh. But we made it. Our train is upside down, but we made it. Uh... All right. Now, now that we made it to Storyland, look at this. Oh! oh. We can open up my storytelling bag. This is so exciting. Now, you guys, we have to get out my special storytelling glasses have you ever seen my glasses have you <gasps> if you're just joining us please put your kids names in the comments so i can see who's watching and say hello but first we need to get my glasses do you know where they are glasses where are you glasses i need you <gasps> i found them are you ready everybody da, 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 da. my special one and only ah! toothbrush did you brush your teeth this morning, Allie? Did you? Did you? Did you, Layla? Did you brush your teeth? Come here. Come here. Come closer. No, closer. Come on. We need to brush your teeth. Hold still. Hold open. Up. Open your mouth. Open it up. Here I go. I'm going to brush your teeth, okay? Brush, 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 brush your teeth. You brush to the front. You brush to the side. And everything that hides. Do you remember? You brush to the front, you brush to the sides, and everything that hides. Very good. Let me see your teeth. Let me see you, Layla. Come on. Come on. Come on, Robbie. Open that mouth. Kieran, open. Parker, Emmy, let me see those teeth. Nice and clean. Good, good, good. Okay, we need to find my glasses. We need to get serious. Get your serious face on, okay? Glasses, where are you? Glasses. Oh, I found them. Ooh. What is this? What? Hmm? Eh? Ah. What? <gasps> you know what this is? This is my Are You Watching Storytime with Tracy pointer? That's what this is. Are you ready? Are you watching? Are you watching, Miss Tracy? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? <laughs> are you watching? Are you? Are you? Are you? Now I know who's watching. Ah, I know Denali's watching. I know Darla's watching. And I know Easton's watching. Look at this. Are you, are you in for story time? Huh? This is my pointer. And if you were with me in a live show, which you will be someday, you can see me live and do stories live. I'll point right at you. It comes so close to you. It comes almost to your face like this. Wow. And you go, oh, oh, yeah, I'm watching. It's wild and dangerous, but we need to get my glasses. So you hold on and I'm gonna go get my glasses, okay? All right, we're looking for my special storytelling glasses, Zane, okay? We'll find them, I know we will. We just have to look in my storytelling bag, see? <gasps> glasses, where are you? Glasses, I need you. <gasps> oh, glasses? Hmm? What is this? What is that? I don't believe it. Meow. It's a kitty. Remember what cat is in Spanish? Gato. You're right. And look at there's a birdie in the cage. And it's a whistle. And the birdie dances when I blow the whistle. But this is not my storytelling glasses. Glasses, where are you? Oh my goodness, you kids. I found them. <gasps> mm -hmm. What? Veda? Is that my storytelling glasses? No, Layla, Ellie, look at that. It's my spring. <gasps> mm-hmm. 
Now, spring has sprung. Spring is here, you guys. Look it, spring, it's here. <laughs> Get it? Spring? It's a spring. Wing, wing, wing. Spring is here, don't worry. <laughs> okay, we gotta say bye to spring and we need to find my glasses, okay? Kennedy, all right, Quinny, we gotta find them. Bye-bye, spring. <gasps> Let's say hello to summer next, right? <gasps> no, we need to find my special one and only storytelling oh, glass. Uh-oh. Hello? Are you there still? I can't see. I'm covered in a scarf. <gasps> I don't believe it. That's not my glasses. <laughs> okay. Now let me see, where are my special glasses? I don't know where they are. Glasses, where are you? <gasps> oh, this is so terrible. Oh no, oh no. I don't know where they are. Oh my goodness. Um, what happened to my hand? What? Oh, 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 my hand is so, so small. Oh no, am I shrinking? Am I shrinking? My hand, it's so tiny. Oh, oh, oh I'm gonna wipe my tears. Oh, this is, this is just, this is terrible. I don't know what to do. Hmm, think, hmm, hmm, what should I do? Have you ever had your hand shrink and go smaller like this? Oh, I got an itch, hang on, I got a little itch right there. Oh, I got an itch over here. Hmm, hmm, think, 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 what to do when your hand is smaller? Go back into your storytelling bag and look for your storytelling glasses. All right, I'll be right back, okay? Bye. I gotta go find my glasses. I gotta go find them. Glasses, where are you? Glasses, I need you. Oh, I found them. Oh my goodness. This is so exciting because we have a lot to do today. We've got my special one and only storytelling glasses. We can start my song because I have my tangerine. Wait, is it tangerine? No, you kids are right. Yeah, what is it? Oh, oh, yeah, tambourine. That's right, tambourine. You got it, Zane. Okay, Veda, you got it. And Emmy, welcome, Emmy. You're just in time for my storytelling glasses, okay? Tell all your friends to join us for story time. Send them a message right now. Are you ready? Here we go. Do, 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 do. We got... Mm didn't go the way I planned it. All right, let's start the show again. Pretend you never saw that, okay? All right, here we go. We found my glasses, yes we did. We found my glasses, here they are. Are, are not. Here they are or are not. Which one is it? Which one is it, Miss Tracy? They are or they are not? Huh, kids? Oh no, they are not. They are not. No, look. Ah. Mm. Ah. Ah, 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 ah. Oh man, they keep falling. Look at them. No, 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 no. Not again, not again. I can't handle this every day. Say yes, you can, Miss Tracy. Just take a deep breath. Yeah, I feel better. Okay, I didn't want to tell all you kids this, especially you first time viewers. In my bag, there's a monster. <gasps> Did you leave? Don't leave. He's a really nice monster. He's called the licking monster, okay? So don't worry. He's really friendly, but the only thing is, guess what he likes to do? That's right, Veda, he likes to lick. Yes, Evelyn, he likes to lick. I can't believe it. And, 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 awesome. Yeah, I like it, okay, I'll call you in a bit, okay? All right, we have a special thing for you later, guys. It's, it includes at, when you, when it's the time I can practice. Okay, all right, I'll put it down here. Sorry, we need to take that right now because we're gonna have a special surprise for you guys later. Now, <clears throat> I can't, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure, so, okay, I was telling you about the monster, right? Okay, he likes to lick. Um, and, and, and he, 
might have broken my glasses. So should we get him out and see if he did it? Do, do you kids want to meet him? Don't leave, all right? He's really a nice monster. And the only thing is we have to teach him about licking because he likes to lick everything. Do you want to know why? I'm going to tell you why. He comes from a far away land called Lickamondu. Have you ever been to Lickamondu? No? Well, in Lickamondu, you can lick everything. Yeah, you can lick the walls. Mm, delicious. You can lick. You can lick shoes. Ew! You can lick your friends. <gasps> what? No! No, 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 Josh. You cannot lick your friends. No, Ella. Jackson, you cannot lick your friends, right? Dominic? No. So, you cannot, but in Lickamon do you can. And that's where the licking monster's from. So he doesn't know that you can't lick friends if they say no thank you and you can't lick shoes. So we have to teach him, okay? I'm gonna get him out. Licking monster, come on out. Oh, here he comes. Ah, he's so excited to meet you guys. Look at him. Ah, oh, he's a big green. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I told you about, we talked, I was telling yesterday and the day before. I don't I would want you guys it happens all the time trust me if you've seen my show before you've met the licking monster and he always licks me licking monster if you don't stop put your tongue away yes we're going to have to goodbye tongue it's really sad now he really wanted to wanted to lick. He likes to show everybody his tongue because he's called the licking monster. Now, licking monster, listen to me. You cannot keep licking friends. If I say, no, thank you, and I don't like to be licked, do you keep licking? No. We talked about this yesterday, right? And you, and you got it, but today's a new day and we have to start all over again. Oh, Joa, I don't believe this. All right. Now, Licking Monster, we, we, we have a lot of friends watching out there. And, and do you guys like to be licked? You, you do? No, you don't? No, Parker? No? Emmy? Emmy D? Yeah, I bet you do. I bet you do. Yeah. And Zane, do you like to be licked? You do? No, you don't? No? Okay. And Veda, do you like to be licked? Huh? Denali? Darla? Who likes to be licked? Kieran? Uh huh? Who, who, who likes to be licked? Robbie? I don't know. Emmy? Do you like to be licked? Now, licking monster, I don't like to be licked, okay? Now, if I take your tongue back out, will you listen to Miss Tracy? Yes, okay. He's going to listen to Miss Tracy. If I say no thank you, okay? We're going to use, you're going to use your one, see he has one ear. You're going to listen to me, okay? All right, let's, should we get his tongue out? Give it, do a do-over? Let's see. All right, please put your kids' names in the comment if you're joining us so I can say hello. Oh, there it is. Okay, here he comes. Tell him, kids, tell him no thank you. Oh, listen to you. Let's see if he does it to me. No, 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 no thank you. All right, now Licking Monster, we have something very serious to talk to you about. Take a look at my glasses. Did you break these? What did you do? Did you lick them? Mmm, Licking Monster. <sighs> Listen, these are for wearing on your eyes. You you could wear them and look so cute in your glasses, see? But you you broke them, and, and now if you break something, you should try and fix it, right? So can you please fix them, all right? He's gonna go, he's gonna go fix them, Isaac. He's gonna go fix them. <gasps> Yay. Okay, can you say, good luck, licking monster? That might be a lot of words for you, Isaac, but you'll get there. You're learning. Now, and especially if you watch Miss Tracy, you'll learn more about words. <laughs> yeah. Now, Wolfie, Wolfie, you don't mind him licking you? Oh my gosh. Okay, Licking Monster, good luck. Take my, oh, he's got my glasses. He's gonna go fix them. Can you say bye, Licking Monster? <gasps> he's going back in the bag. Now, I'm gonna tell you kids a story today, a special story about a boy that liked to tell lies. Do you know what lies are? I hope you don't. Now, sometimes when you want something to be a different, different than it is, you, you don't tell the truth. And that's what happened. That's what happened to this little boy. His name was Francis. And Francis had a 
big imagination. He liked to imagine all kinds of things. And that was very fun for him. Like he liked to imagine that he had a great big swimming pool in his bedroom. Can you imagine that? Let's imagine it. Oh, I just imagined it. Oh, I would wake up in the morning. Yep. And I would jump right in the swimming pool. Yeah, I wouldn't even eat breakfast if I had a swimming pool in my bedroom. So Francis liked to imagine all kinds of things. And when he went to school, he told those kids at school all of his imaginations, but he told them like they were real. Mm -hmm. And that, my friends, is a lie. If it's not real and you tell people that it's real, even though it's just his imagination, it's still a lie. You have to tell the truth. So Francis went to school and he said, he, Francis went to school. Francis has glasses, okay, like this. And he said, hey guys, guess what? I have a swimming pool in my room. Did you know that? And all the kids said, what did the kids say? Can you kids say it? Say, That's not true. You don't have a swimming pool in your room. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I have a swimming pool in my room. I do. I have a, I have a swimming pool in my room. I do. I do. I do. And I wake up in the morning and I don't eat breakfast. I jump right into my swimming pool and I swim in my bedroom. <gasps> All of the kids knew that wasn't true. They said, you know what they said, Santiago? He said, they said, that's not true. Tell the truth. Can you kids say that from your home? Say, that's not true. Tell the truth. You should always tell the truth. But son, but Francis, he had such a big imagination. He liked to imagine things. And then the next day, do you know what he said? Hey, guys, guess what? I have a dinosaur in my backyard. Mm-hmm. Yep, I got a dinosaur living in my backyard. <laughs> yeah, he lived. I feed him vegetables. It's a vegetable one. Yeah, yeah, it's a plant eater. That's what they call them. The vegetable ones are, are plant eaters. Yeah, you know about those? Plant eaters, he's a vegetable one. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the kids said? They said, that's not true, Francis. That's not true because dinosaurs aren't alive. You don't have a dinosaur in your backyard. Yes, I do have a dinosaur. It lives, it's my pet. I do, I have it in my backyard. Do you know what he said the next day? The next day he went to school after that and he said, he said, I, did you guys know that I can fly? Yeah, I can't, I can fly. I can, I can, I can fly, I can fly, I can do it, I can fly, I can do it, I can, I fly really fast, really fast in the sky. Now, all the kids knew, can kids fly? Only in airplanes, right? Yeah, and lying, stop lying. Can you kids say that? No lying, tell the truth, tell the truth. Say it to your, say it to your friends in your house, to, to your brothers and sisters, tell the truth. And he said, I can fly, I can do it, I can fly. It's not a lie. Now, the next day, that was three lies. The kids were getting very, very frustrated with Francis. They were getting so frustrated and they didn't know why he wouldn't stop lying. Now, the next day, Francis went into school and do you know what he told the kids? He said, I, I, I only eat candy. Yeah, that's my, that's the only thing I eat. I just eat candy. No, I don't have to eat vegetables. I don't have to eat fruits. I don't, I just eat candy. That's it. Only candy. Mm -hmm. That's true. And Santiago said, no, that's not true. You have to eat other foods. And Emmy said, no. Parker said, no. Jola said, no. Isaac said, no. Quinny, Kennedy, they all said, you're not telling the truth. And Jackson, Dominic, Josh, and Ella, they all said, no, that's not true. And Emmy said, no, that's not true. And Veda and Zane, they said, you're not telling the truth. And Denali and Darla and Robbie and Kieran, they all told him, you're not telling the truth. Say it, kids. Tell the truth. And the next day, Dominic came to school and he said, Hey guys, I gotta tell you something. It's really the truth. Okay? I gotta tell you something. I, my daddy has a fire truck for a car. Yeah, I always go to the grocery store in a fire truck. Yes, I do, and the sirens go off. Yes, I do. I go in a fire truck, and the sirens go off, and they go, woo, woo, woo. 
and I go in a fire truck and we get groceries and we have to run errands and we put them in the fire truck and my no my dad is not a firefighter but we just have a fire truck we have one for groceries only just for groceries <gasps> is that true do they have a fire truck just to go get groceries do they use a fire truck to get groceries no they don't do they go in their car they do and the kids knew it come on kids tell them tell the truth tell the truth I, that's true well, that night when our friend francis went to bed something happened he was telling way too many lies way too many lies cooper he was and guess what quinny guess what when he woke up in the morning <sighs> There was a little monster on the end of his finger, and do you know what that monster said to him? Didn't say good morning. He said, he said, I have a swimming pool in my room. Yippee! I'm going swimming. Francis couldn't believe it. I, that's what I said. What? He tried to pull the monster off like this. Uh, uh, he tried to shake the monster. Uh, he tried to blow the monster off like this. Uh, the monster wouldn't come off his hand. He had to go to school with a monster on his finger. So he tucked that monster away, but the monster was really loud. The monster said, I have a swimming pool. I have a swimming pool. I have a swimming pool. No, get, get, oh, no, 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 no. He had, hid the monster in his hand, and he went to school, and he didn't say anything. He said, <laughs> And the kid said, What did you say, Francis? And he said, Nothing. I didn't say anything. And the next night, Francis went to bed, and when he woke up in the morning, what do you think happened? <gasps> oh, he put his glasses on first. <sighs> That was a good ah! I have a dinosaur in my backyard. I have a dinosaur in my backyard. <gasps> that, that's what I said. I have a dinosaur. I have a swimming pool. I have a dinosaur. I have a swimming pool. Oh, no. He tucked the monsters in. And he went to school like this. I have a swimming pool. I have a dinosaur. I have a swimming pool. I have a dinosaur. The kid said, what did you say, Francis? What did you say? <gasps> Nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. <gasps> nothing. I have a swimming pool. I have a dinosaur in my backyard. The next night he went to bed, and when he woke up in the morning, what do you think? What do you think? You do? You think there was another one? <gasps> Let's see. Uh, <gasps> I had a dream there with these monsters on my finger. There was another one. This one said, I can fly. I can fly. I have a dinosaur in my backyard. I have a swimming pool in my house, in my room. Ooh, mm. He tried to shake them off. Ooh, get off of my fingers. He tried to pull them off. But they wouldn't come off. He tried to blow them off. They wouldn't come off. Ooh, I gotta hide them. I have a swimming pool. But they were loud. I have a swimming pool. I can fly. I have a dinosaur. What did you say, Francis? All the kids asked. Huh? Nothing. Uh, nothing. I didn't say anything. I have a dinosaur. I can fly. I have a swimming pool in my room. <gasps> the next night he went to bed. And what do you think, Wolfie? What do you think happened the very next night when he went to bed? <gasps> Oh, he woke up in the morning and, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I had another dream that there were monsters. Ah! Four monsters! And do you know what this monster said? This monster said, I have a fire truck to get the groceries. I have a fire truck to get the groceries. <gasps> he tried to shake them off. Get off my fingers. Get off my fingers. Ah! He tried to blow them off. <sighs> they wouldn't come off. He tried to pull them off. <clears throat> oh, it's not working, Evelyn. The monsters are stuck on his fingers. 
they were so loud. I have a swimming pool. I have a dinosaur in my backyard. There's a swimming pool in my room. I can fly. I have a fire truck to go to the grocery store. I have a swimming pool in my room. I have a pet dinosaur. I can fly. I have, I have a fire truck. <gasps> he tucked those monsters in and tried to go to school for coming in. And he said, good morning to all of his friends. And they said, what did you say? I have a swimming pool. I have a fire truck to go to the store. I, 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 I can fly a swimming pool in my room. <gasps> the kid said, what did you say? Nothing. I didn't say anything. <sighs> now, that night, Francis went home. He had told too many lies. And he went home, and all the monsters were still on his finger. And he told those monsters that night. He said, now go away, monsters. You need to go away. I don't need monsters on my hand. <sighs> but that night, when he went to sleep, he was telling the kids lies. Can you say hi? Good morning. Hi. We just got a new viewer, a new watcher. This is Camila, my daughter. Now. Well, the little boy Francis was telling lies, Camila. He was telling lies. Can you believe that? He said things that weren't true. Like this one, he said, I have a swimming pool in my room. And this one said, he, he told him, I have a pet dinosaur in my backyard. That's not true. And then this one, he said, I can fly. He told the kids he could fly. And this one says, I use a fire truck to get groceries. That's not true. But that night when Francis went to bed, when he woke up in the morning, what do you think happened? What do you kids, you do? You think there was another one, Santiago? Wolfie? When he woke up, oh, I had a very bad dream that there were, And this monster said, Ooh, I eat only candy. I eat only candy. <gasps> no! He tried to shake the monsters off. He tried to blow the monsters off. <sighs> he tried to, what else could he do to try to get the monsters Pick off? Them up. Pick them off. He pulled, tried to pull them off. Uh, but they wouldn't come off and he had to go to school with all these loud monsters on his hand. <gasps> I have a pool in my room. I take a fire truck to school. I can fly. I have a pet dinosaur. I take, I eat candy only. Shh. Hello, good morning. I have a pet dinosaur. I have a pool in my room. I can fly. I take a fire truck to the store. The kids, you, re you kids ready? This is your part. You say, what did you say? What did you say? Francis, what did you say, Francis? I have a pet dinosaur. <gasps> All of the sudden, the monsters popped out from his hand like this. <gasps> I eat only candy. I have a swimming pool in my room. I have a pet dinosaur in my yard. I can fly. I take a fire truck to the grocery store. Uh, um. That's not true, any of that. Yeah, it is. I eat candy. No, I don't eat only candy. I love broccoli. And, and I eat vegetables and I eat fruit and I eat yogurt. The monster disappeared when he told the truth. <gasps> I, ha I have a swimming pool in my room. That's not true. I don't have a swimming pool in my room. <gasps> the monster disappeared as he told the truth. I have a pet dinosaur in my yard, and I feed it vegetables. <gasps> That's not true. Dinosaurs aren't real anymore. They, di they don't live anymore. It disappeared. <gasps> I can fly. I can't fly. I wish I could fly, but I really can't fly. Sometimes I imagine that I can fly, and, and I've tried to fly um, when I jump off my steps with my umbrella, but I can't fly. <gasps> Oh, I take a fire truck to the grocery store. It's not true. I wish I could ride in a fire truck to the grocery store, but it's not true. <gasps> oh, no more monsters. And no more lies. Mm. I promise, friends. Bye. <gasps> what do you guys think?
think. Now, we have to, good work. You, my friends, know how to tell the truth. I know that. So you taught Francis how to tell the truth. And I have a very special guest today. I have my son, Mateo. So today we're talking, do you see all this stuff behind me? These are free draws. This is a free draw from Camila. This is my artist. Come here, Camila. You can tell them about what's in the picture. Say hi to Ellie. She's watching. I have a candy house up there. She drew a candy house and she used her imagination. Hot Wolfie and Hollister are watching. Now, um, she used her imagination and you drew a candy house, a house made of candy. With a feather on top. With a feather on top. Yeah. And we want to encourage you guys to do some free drawing today. She used a marker for this one, right? And then this, who drew this one? Poppy. Poppy. That's her, her daddy. Her daddy drew this one. And then Camila drew this one over here. The other side. Okay, other side. Yep. And Camila drew this one. And then over here, it's upside down? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Over here, we have another drawing from Mateo. Can you see that one? That's, um, who's that character, Mateo? I just made him up. Made that guy up over there. He drew that guy over there. We'll zoom in closer after. And then um, we painted. We used paints to use to paint radishes. And those are watercolors. Mm. Okay. Now, Mateo has a special story for you kids. So speaking of drawing, he has been doing some drawing. He was very busy this morning. Oh, see, hey, I keep... Well, I'm going to need um, a hi? volunteer to help with the story. I'll volunteer. Do you oh, want me okay. or one of the kids out there? Well, one of the kids out there. Do you kids want to volunteer to be part of uh, Mateo's story? Huh? Um, who's going to volunteer to be part? How do you need them to be part of the story? Well, they can do uh, Isaac, do you want to do it? What, what actually, you, you could do it. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Do you want to say bye to Ellie? Come, she's on watching. Bye, Ellie. <laughs> say bye, Ellie. Hi, hi, Ellie. Say bye, Ellie. Bye, Ellie. Say, call okay. me later. Okay, so I'm going to be, I'll do it. Okay, so how does the story start? Once One upon a time, uh -huh. there is a boy. Can I be the boy? Oh, you're the boy. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a boy. boy. What was his name? And I'm not say his name. Not gonna say his name. Okay. There was a boy that lived in a house. There was a boy everything that lived normal. in a house. Everything normal, everything normal, like everyone else. Yep, he lived but in a house. But one day, he said, "I don't like my face the way it is." He didn't like this. So then, the uh, the next day, when he woke up, he didn't like his face the way had, it was. He had. A new face. <gasps> he had evolved. He had evolved. He changed. With, like metamorphosis. Just like a butterfly. He changed with metamorphosis like a butterfly. So he, did he go into a cocoon at night? No. No. He slept, when he slept in his bed, his face was changing When at he night. slept at night. So there was a boy who lived and in a house. He said, I don't like my face the way it is. <gasps> Again? So he didn't he like. he said, I guess I'll go out on the street and find a new face. He's going to go find a new face? And can, do you think you can take off your face? No. No. You, you can't take off your face. So he didn't like his face the way it had evolved, the way it had changed over time. And he went to try and find a new face. And off he went. So, <gasps> do you think he's going to be able to take his face off and find a, a new, new face? face? Let's see what face he found. He says, can I have your face? He, this guy goes, can I have your face? And this guy goes, of course not. This is my face. <gasps> so he goes, definitely not that face. Okay. And he goes, I'll go find another face. He's going to go find another face. Let's see if he can find another face. And then he found another face. And look at this new face that he found. Put over your face. And then he found he this goes, face. And then he comes over and goes, could I have your face? Yeah! <gasps> so he goes, definitely not. Definitely not that face. So he went to find another face. Another face. He's going to find another face. Off he went. And this is the time. That this he's off. time he found a face. And he goes. He said. He said. He said. Can I have your face? No. No. I love. I like, I like my face. I like my face. I like my face Can and I, I am not one? giving it Can to I you. Can I be this one? I like my face. You can't have my face. You have your own face. 
Oh, don't really know what that is. So he went to look for another face. And this face came diddly daddling down the street. A new face came diddly daddling. Here it comes. Doody dee, diddly daddly, doodly doo, diddly daddly. And then he goes, Can I have your face? Now! No, you go. What? And then he goes, Definitely not that face. Aww. And then. Definitely not that face. And then he goes, I think I like the face it's changed to. And after I, all that time had passed. And I like the face I have. I should not change it, and everyone's face is perfect. Just the Even way. Even mine. It mine, and it doesn't have to be perfect to face your face at all. It you just have to like it the way it is. It's perfect the way it for is. you. It's perfect for you. Your and no one else can comment on your face and how it looks or how bad it is. No, we don't think it's bad. No. And so, so he goes. So did he feel happy inside? Yeah, and then all of the all of those other faces and people out there. Had a party with him. <gasps> they all came to his party. Now they all had a party and they were all celebrating how happy they were with themselves. Let's have tea! Let's, Let's play a game! Let's put music on! We love our faces! <gasps> the and yay, Mateo! Now, you kids, this is exciting because guess what? This, you got to see the storytelling process with Mateo. So what he did was draw those faces. And this morning, we talked about him creating a story himself. And that's what we're hoping you kids will do at your house. You can get toys. You can get um, hats. You can get glasses like Miss Tracy and make up your own stories for your parents. Now, Mateo just made that up this morning. And that, that's part of how Miss Tracy makes up her stories. I take things out and I start talking about what happened, right? Yeah. And who knows, maybe he'll add things to the story and maybe it will evolve. That means change, right? Yeah. Over time, he, you don't know. But I would like to congratulate you on a great story, Mateo. Thank you. Was it easy to do or hard? It was very hard. I practiced outside. You did? You practiced out there before you came in. So you have to practice when things are hard. And that's what he's doing. He's practicing being a great storyteller. And you already, congratulations, have done a show <laughs> with real viewers. You guys, should we get the licking monster out and see if he fixed my glasses? Huh? We should? Okay, should we go in and get him? You want to help? You staying? You want to say hi bye to Wolfie? Uh... Hollister? No, I'm Lenny? Saying, I'm saying, okay, I'm great. Saying. Okay, licking monster. We're gonna get him out. Okay, we're gonna see if he fixed my glasses. What do you think, Mateo? Do you think he fixed them? Yes. You do? I do. Okay. He's always pretty good at it. Licking monster, come on out! Here he comes. Here he is. Oh, he's excited. Mateo's here. He's like, oh, he loves Mateo. Whoa, he loves. Oh, whoa. what do you tell him? Tell him no. No licking. No. No, thank you. I don't like to be. No. No licking monster. Did you finish my glasses? Oh, he did. Okay, he's gonna go get them. Oh, he's got them. He's got my glasses. I'm so excited. Ah, look at this. Ah, Mateo, help. I think he needs a haircut. Did you want a haircut before okay. we get my, are right, you give him a haircut? And then will he get my storytelling glasses? Will you get them for me? Thank you. Now he looks much better. There we go. Will you get my glasses? Okay, he's going down. He's going I guess down. I need a haircut myself. All right, you cut your hair. No, don't ever. Don't ever cut your own hair, right? Here we go. Oh, look, he's got them. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look, somebody wrote. We loved Mateo's story, Mateo. <laughs> Yay, my glasses are all fixed. Thank you, Licking Monster. All right, Mateo, I need you to keep the beat, okay? Ready? Do, 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 do. We found my glasses. Yes, we did. We found my glasses. Here they are. Do, 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 do. Yay! Uh-oh, here he comes to lick you guys. No! Whoa! Licking monster. 
Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, before we say goodbye, I was going to do a free draw for you. That's what I brought here. I brought some paper. And I want to see if you guys remember anything that we talked about in Spanish. Okay? We forgot to say good morning in Spanish. And, and, remember how to say it? Buenos dias. And we're going to say goodbye in Spanish. Do you remember how to say goodbye? What was it? It was adios. Now, Mateo is going to draw with me. You can draw with me before we go. All right, here what? it is. Would, I would we're, like, we, I, would, I would, can I have a request? We are going to write adios. Or Wait, we, we're going to. Or we could write arbol, arbol, which is tree. Uh-huh. Or we could write, what? or we could write good morning. What if we draw the licking monster? Okay. Yeah? He's going to draw the licking monster for everybody. Okay, let's see. Mateo's doing the licking monster live. He's going to do a drawing live. You can see him drawing. Mateo loves to draw. We love to draw in our house. And today is the day I'm encouraging you kids to do a free draw. Now, Mateo's drawing the licking monster. Maybe you could do it at your house. You want to try drawing the licking monster? And also, moms and dads, we've been watching some great... Um, uh, drawing um, lessons with Mo Willems. Do you know Mo no? Willems lunch doodles? Lunch doodles. My, yep, and it's on YouTube. Also, my channel's on YouTube. Do you know Silly Who? Yes, I have some fun videos in Spanish and in English, and I have I have even videos in Chinese. It's called Mandarin. Can you believe that? Miss Tracy speaks in another language called Spanish, but I, 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 I have videos that are in Chinese, but I don't speak in Mandarin. I had some people um, speak for me, and it looks like I'm speaking. So go find those on Silly Who, S-I-L-L-Y-H-O-O, -O, and you can find it on my, um, in the about in my Facebook page. Ooh, Mateo, look at that licking monster. Look at this. He's got his one ear. Oh, you guys, look at the licking monster. Mira, Mira, look. It's the licking monster, Mira. Monstra. Do you remember how to say monstra? Benaka. Come here, monster. There he is. Where are his arms? Does he have one? Yep, he's got two arms, just like the legs. They look just like the legs, except they're out the side. Ooh, this is an original, an original Mateo drawing. He's going to sign it. Every time you do a piece of art, guys, make sure you sign it. There he goes. Yay, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. And you can rewatch this if you're only catching it right now. You can go watch. It'll be in my story and also on Facebook at Storytime Tracy. Thanks for joining us today. Bye, kids. Spread the word and the love. Okay, we're going to say adios. Adios, amigos. Goodbye, friends. Adios, amigos.